Loose Man. Today's topics were... Is a head affair worse than a bed affair? Do watching TV together mean you stay together? An extra topic, should early fetus gender tests be banned? Today's panellists were Ruth Langsford Denise Welsh Denise Van Outen and Jay Moore Now with me, Ashley Gardner Today's guest was Duncan James and Dr Christian So, Denise Van Outen has got some sort of uh, brace thing on her leg. Um, she was training for a role in the West End in uh, Chicago. Um, and apparently she has, I think she called it a stress fracture. Um, it They showed a, a picture of the scan. It looked, does look so painful. Um, so, and also, apparently... Theresa May and her husband loves watching The Chase. Um, so does watching TV together mean she'll stay together? Um, I think I think it's great when you both have the same tastes in programmes. Um, I really hate it when you start watching something and they walk in and they they never watched it before, but you've been watching the whole series. They'll just come in and ask you all about it, and it's like, shut up! I'm watching something. You know, you should have watched it from the beginning if you want to know what's going on. Um, and then they asked about um, what's uh, they asked what's your must see TV. Um, obviously, mine is the Bodyguard. Um, and obviously the X Factor, um, and yeah, that's that's the two main ones I've got at the moment. Uh, Great British Bake Off, that's pretty good, um, and yeah, I think that's about it at the moment. Also, Big Brother. Um, so apparently, an MP has said that um, she'll never want to be. Prime Minister because of her mental health problems she's had um, and obviously a lot of them on, on the panel has have some kind of mental health issue um, and still do but I, th I think you should be allowed time off work because of a mental health issue normally if you go to doctors they'll just sign you off for a couple of days or a week or something um, but yeah, it's it's nice it's nice to see an MP talking about it because you don't really see MPs talk about their um, like private lives as as much. Um, so yeah, it was nice to hear her talk. Um, and then after that, Duncan James um, came on to talk about his new role in Ch Chicago, and he's really really enjoying it. He can't wait for Denise to get back, eventually. Um, he talked about his daughter being in the Royal Ballet School. Um, she's really loving it. She, her, she's got a big passion for ballet. Um, and he talked about Lee doing Strictly this year. Um, he thinks that he has a point to prove because when Simon done it, Simon Webb, um, he got to the final, and he thinks that, Simon thinks he's the best dancer, so I think Lee wants to get, get one up on him, and win it, 
So let's see if we can. Um, so after discovering of an affair can be heartbreaking experience for anyone, but is an emotional cheating worse than physical cheating? Um, plus, what are the warning signs to a, an affair of the head, not just in bed? So Jane said that they're both hugely irritating um and i think they're both as bad as each other because if you know if you know that's how they feel about another person but didn't do anything about about it because they're with you i think i think that's disrespectful to even do that um i think you shouldn't even look at someone else if you're with, when you're with someone um, yeah, have a joke and a laugh, they're always hot and all this, but not when it's going around in your head all the time. Um, Denise Wells said a, a story about her first husband, um, which was just weird, but I'm glad she saw the real him, um, and she had a sixth sense for the cheating um i think i could tell if someone is cheating or no um and they done a poll on it um so the question was sh um, is a head affair worse than a bed affair um and what was the poll so it was 63 percent said no and 37% said yes. Which is quite surprising. I thought it would be quite equal. Um, after that, um, the last guest to come on was Dr. Christian. Gave a Loose Women First walk interview. And doing a program. So he's doing a program called 12 Hours in Cure. 12 Hours to Cure Your Street. Um, looks really good. Um, I was hoping all the ladies was going to join him by doing the interview on a treadmill. Apart from Denise Van Atten, obviously. But only Denise Wells done it. I think they all should have done it, myself. Um, and he kept getting the giggles. Don't know why, but he did. Um, so, the extra topic... Today, um, should early uh, fetus gender test be banned? Um, Labour is calling for a ban on parents to be being told the sex of their baby after early blood tests amid fears it may lead to abortions of girls. The non invasive parental a prenatal is used by the NHS to test for genetic conditions, but people can pay for it privately to discover a baby's sex. Labour MP Nas Shah, sorry if I get got the name wrong, said it was it it is morally wrong for people to use the test to abort pregnancies based on the outcome. The Department of Health said it would continue to review the evidence. He also said that the NIPT screenings should be used for their intended purpose to screen for serious conditions such as Down syndrome. And I completely agree with him. Um, so, the only people that can... By the sounds of it, the only people that can um, get the early gender tests is if they go privately. Um, I think I read somewhere it costs between, I like I don't know, it was like, I think it was like 100, 200 pounds, something like that. Not many people can afford that nowadays. Um, but I don't agree with abortions anyway, Only, only if... I only agree with abortions if obviously they've been 
you know, raped or something like something like that. If if they just had a one night stand and got pregnant, they shouldn't. I don't think I don't agree with getting the abortion because um, that's their that's their fault. They should have used protection. Um, so yeah, that's today's loose man. Um, I will do it tomorrow because. Sally Morgan is on Loose Women. Love Sally Morgan. She was brilliant. She was brilliant in Celebrity Big Brother. I've seen her in some of her shows. She's just so down to earth, and she's exactly what she's like on telly. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, tune in tomorrow.